Good morning, Steam It. It's Episcopo Squirrel here, also known as Alchemage. Here to do another Wake It Bake dab with a mage. <laughs> How is everyone on this beautiful morning? I'm doing fairly well. I didn't sleep very well. Lots of tossing and turning. But, uh, feel good. Still waiting on word back from the apartment, so I don't know what's going on with that yet. Hopefully, I get back to me today. But, uh,. How are y'all doing? Hope you got better sleep than I did. Anywho, yesterday I brought up empathy, and uh, I really wanted to touch more base on that again today, since I didn't really cover it. But first, here. Hard to get that music at the right level. <coughs> <coughs> I'll figure out some uh, editing software at some point and just be able to put music with it. <coughs> oh shit! <coughs> Had a little bit too much of the CBD onto that. Whew! All right. So empathy. Where to begin? I'd like to begin first with explaining the difference between empathy and sympathy. Sympathy is feeling sorry for someone and their experience. Or, yeah, just feeling sorry for someone. Um, empathy is feeling what they're going through, is, is actually fully understanding what that individual is experiencing to as, to as much as you can as an individual external to that experience, obviously. Um, a lot of people use empathy or use past experiences as a way to relate to these um, empathetic moments. But I personally don't think that's necessary. I think that well, before I get to that. So, as I've stated before, we're all one entity. We're all one thing. Um, using the theory of the Big Bang, then everything was held uh, within the known universe, was held within the two singularities that collided to uh, catalyze the entire universe, as we now, we now know it, and as it expands to create further... Uh, objects and entities and experiences. And so, because we are all one, we are all connected. Everything is connected. Because we are all connected, our thoughts, our feelings, our experiences are shared. They may not be directly shared as a direct experience, but because we are one, we feel the pain from each other. We feel the pain of the universe. We feel the pain of the planet. And so I believe that everyone is empathic. Empathic being the state of being capable of experiencing energies that others don't really pick up. And experiencing these energies all around My bad. I ran out of data. So I had to delete some stuff and make some room. So, as I was saying, everyone is empathic. And everyone has the capability to, or capacity, to be able to 
feel these energies. Um, as I stated yesterday and in previous videos, everything is energy. And so we have the capacity to pick up on these, these subtle energies and feel that they're there. Um, we may not always be able to visually experience them, but there's a part of us that can pick these things up. Um, so, I also think that there is a major operation, project, whatever you want to call it, that is being put on by uh, the wealthy. The, and I don't mean just like, oh, rich people. I mean like the people who own the major corporations, the people who basically own the world, the people running all the bank systems, the ones who own the money. These individuals, the true top 1%, and it, it may not even be 1%, it may be like a handful of the 1%. Um, I believe that they are working to specifically separate us from our nature. And by separating us from our nature, they thereby separate us from our capability of being empathic. We still have that capacity for empathy and the, the telepathic sense and all these other um, senses that we have that they tell us is mental illness or they tell us that it's not real and, um, and they call us crazy but in reality it's our nature and everyone has it and everyone can experience it if they just nurture it some people are going to be more connected and have a stronger sense of empathy and being stronger empaths than others. That's just, you know, the nature of being an individual. We all have different levels of intelligence. We all have different levels of skills. We all have different capabilities and capacity to do different things. So, it is of my opinion that everyone has the capacity to be empathic, but not everyone has the capacity to be extremely empathic and feeling everything. If everyone was always constantly feeling everything going on, would anything get done? There's so much energy, so much emotion out there that it would be crippling, you know? I consider myself to be pretty empathic, but I also know that there are people who are more empathic than myself and even myself when I go into large groups of people I shut the fuck down you know that's so much energy and I have to really be able to separate myself from all those other individuals before I can actually truly enjoy myself and enjoy the experience of being myself um, like when I go to large events and like festivals and um, it, it, it's really difficult, you know, um, even amusement parks, you know, I have to really, really focus in on myself. Amusement parks are kind of the easiest because they have that uh, adrenaline factor going on and so it kind of brings me into myself, um, but festivals and um, gatherings and the house parties there's just so many people you know I don't I don't know how, <laughs> I kind of say I don't know how to act but I know how to act and I just you know I can um, I call it social anxiety and I do have social anxiety on top of it um, from my past experiences uh, as a child I had some difficult experiences um, but uh, I, I, I highly attribute it to just the fact that there's so many people and so much energy. You know, I, I can plan out a whole conversation of what I want to say to someone, and as soon as I go to talk to them, I can't even say hello, you know? 
um, my, my, my brain just shuts down with all those new energies around. And so, even myself having this experience, there's people who are more empathic than I am, and it's just really hard to fathom if you don't have this experience, if you've never had these experiences, it's really difficult to even imagine what someone would go through in this kind of setting. And to even imagine it being a real thing is kind of difficult. But if you really take a step back and you think about it, like I said, we're all connected and we're all one mind and uh, our nervous system is just, we are different nerve endings for a larger nervous system. And so, um, information is carried through us and brought back to the mass consciousness. And through the mass consciousness, we're all connected. And so, when someone's ex explaining something to you, to bring it full circle, where I was saying that I don't think it's necessary to have an experience in order to relate to an individual and to have a empathic experience, because we are connected to this mass consciousness, when an individual individual comes to you and you hold space for that individual and you connect with that individual and they share their story with you, what they've gone through, be it good, be it bad, be it just neutral, I don't think it's necessary to have any kind of similar experience to be able to truly understand that individual be able to relate with that individual and feel what they went through. It may not be the same thing that they went through, you know. It's, it's not the same thing that they went through because it's translated through a different sen set of senses. And because it's translated through a different set of senses, you can only know it subjectively as your own experience rather than as their experience. So it is a different experience, but it is as close as you can get without actually being that person. And so... Yeah, <laughs> everyone can be empathic. Um, how to nurture this? Listen to people. Truly listen to them. And don't wait to respond. Just listen. Hold space. That's what I mean by holding space for, for an individual. You're not waiting to respond. You're allowing them to be and allowing those energies to flow between the two of you. And you can just take that moment to feel what's going on. Feel your body as they express these experiences to you. And you'll notice, you'll definitely feel some changes. So that's my rant for the day. Kind of went on a really long digression there. But, uh, I hope it all makes sense and I'd love to know what you all think as well. So please share your experiences and share your opinions and share any kind of research and studies that you have accumulated. Even if it's contradictory to what I have said, I would love to see what you, what you have to tell me, what you have to share. Cheers. Have a beautiful day. I love you, Steven.